I have two stories for you guys tonight. The first story is about the time I almost got on to an NBC dog training show. And the second story is the time I was 20 feet underwater with a killer whale and my leg slipped off and I thought I was gonna ruin the show for 5,000 people. All right, first story. I, in 08, I had just started the business, just left SeaWorld. I got a call from a producer or a casting person saying, hey, would you like to try out for this show? It was an NBC summertime show called America's Greatest Dog, I think. I said, yeah, I just started the business. I had a few clients. This would have been an awesome thing to get on the show. So I go up to LA, make it through the first interview. I don't remember what happened, but I made it through the first interview. They call me back and I get the, to the second interview. So they were narrowing it down. They called 20 people back. They were narrowing it down to 12, I think it was. So this was like the big kind of interview. So I go up there, they put me up in a hotel. And here's the, 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 the main thing that I remember about this whole experience. I didn't make the show, by the way. Uh, I, I got cut in that, those, so those last eight people got cut. It was an okay show. But here's the thing that I remember about this whole experience. So I went in to do the interview. I had my dog, it was Bosco at the time. He was young, he was like nine months, probably too young to be on the show, to be honest with you. He was, I go in and there's a whole table full of people, probably 15, 12, 15 people, right? In Holly, what do they do? They have producers, they have casting people. They probably had like an NBC representative there, something like that. And all I remember, and this is for you guys around the world, or for you guys that think Hollywood or think show business is this cool thing, it's a cesspool. It's, it's not a good place. I remember just sitting there doing this interview. I'm a grown man at this point. I'm 30 something. And I remember the guys, the producers or whatever they were sitting there, you could tell they thought that they were so much better than me. And they would, just, they would sit there and they just look at you like, who's this dude? They were sitting over there and the person next to me was kind of nice, like the main person who brings you in, you know? And everyone else, not everyone else, but a lot of these guys just sat there. They're like producers of a summertime lame dog training show. And they like think that they're the, like the greatest people in the world and better than, you know, than a dog trainer who gets called in to be on the show. And I'll never forget that. I, I never, I've been around, I've been in some, done some TV stuff and whatnot before that with wild animals, exotic animals, but I'll never forget just how these guys kind of acted and like treated me. They didn't really, I didn't really talk to them much, but you could just tell. They, it was, it was, it was something that I'm so glad I'm not a part of anymore. I never was a part of it, but I'm glad I'm not a part of it and I'm not going to be a part of it. Okay. Um, those, those shows, those, those networks, they're going away. YouTube is taking it over. People don't like that fake stuff anymore. It's all about YouTube now. This is the future, but that's my point. Okay. Second story. I was at a show. I was early in my SeaWorld career. You get foot pushed. Whale's nose is on your foot. You go underwater. You have to come out of the water on musical cues. The music's set. So you have to come out right when the music changes. And you do this whole thing, right? I go underwater, I'm about 30 feet. The, the tank at Whale Stadium's 36 feet deep, okay? And you go to the bottom of that tank. I was almost to the bottom. My foot completely slips off of the whale's nose. Under, 30 feet underwater. And I'm thinking, this is, I don't know what's gonna happen. I think the whale will swim away. I don't know what's gonna happen. The, my foot slipped off, so she's under me. She goes, like, slips off, she comes like this. So now I'm on her back, 30 feet underwater. She just puts the brakes on, with her pecs, puts the brakes on. I climb all over her. I get back to her nose, 30 feet underwater. I continue the foot push. I come out five seconds late for the musical cue. I couldn't believe it though. I couldn't believe she just stopped and said, yeah, okay, dude, rookie, let's do this. We're gonna finish this show. She just stopped and just waited for me to climb all over underwater, come out, hit the musical cue, a little bit late. So those are my stories. I know sometimes you guys like the stories that I tell. Uh, I got more. So I'll keep giving them to you guys. I hope you liked them. And don't forget to hit the bell, subscribe, and like.